Today, I'm feeling lost. And it's quite hard for me to admit to put it on social media because, you know, as a coach, a confidence and transformational coach who helps people with their purpose and direction, you are looked upon to have this clarity all the time. But from my own perspective, that is not always true. Yes, there are many days where I feel like I know what exactly what I need to do. But then there are days when I don't. And just before I say anything, that's okay. Because what I've realised today, if I just delve into this feeling of lost, is that there is part of me, the old part of me, the inauthentic part of me, that has been, I feel, is being released. And it's being released to this, I feel it's this newer, higher version of myself. But sometimes in order to get to that higher version of yourself, you yourself have to go through a bit of turmoil, feeling lost, um, feeling a little bit depressed, not knowing what to do. And that is okay. I think as, as long as it's not all the time, now and again, it's okay. It's okay to feel lost. It's okay to feel um, depressed. It's okay to feel sad, to, to grieve, to have all these emotions. But one thing I've learned, and I'm learning more and more, is that we aren't our thoughts. We aren't our emotions. We aren't our body. We aren't our surroundings, our environment. I've noticed myself as well, and I'm, I'm going off on tangent here, but oh well. Um, with myself, I've noticed that I can get caught up in identifying with things. I am, you know, I have, a, I have this is my car. I am my name, you know, I, I have, the, this is my house, and it's a sense of attachment, attachment to things, and I f feel as though this sense of, this sense of loss is almost peeling away the unauthentic parts of me, and I think a sense of loss is basically this sense of the inauthentic part trying to fight back saying this is you this is you but it's not because I feel as though at the very core I am soul I'm a spirit I am not my body I am not my thoughts I am not my emotions and it's this idea that when we start to become our most authentic self, everything almost becomes effortless. Everything almost becomes easy, but not easy. It just flows. You know, I'm in this mindset, you know, of today especially, oh, come on, I need to get this done, this done, this done. But the more that I try to, oh, I need to get this done, this done, this done, I'm not really present in the moment. So there's a sense of dropping the outer layers so that I can become more present. And when I'm more present, everything that I need comes to me or it flows. And it's the same with, it's not just me, it's the same with everybody else. When we start to shed our old skins, we become us. So, what old ways and what, what old conditioning or 
what old patterns are you willing to release because when you start to release these old ways it leaves us open to new ways and new ways of being and that is when we start to step into our greatness and cure. Cool.